happy Saturday from Manhattan, New York. I just took a shower, didn't wash my hair because no. And the weather here is super dry, so I ended up, you know, flat ironing my hair because it was flat already. Yeah, so I'm, um, yeah, I'm wearing this towel, so uh, I don't want to flush you. <laughs> I want to show you how beautiful this morning is here in New York. We're gonna get ready. I'm gonna do my makeup with you, but before that, let me show you, and I'm gonna be freezing because I'm gonna be opening the door because I'm gonna take you to the balcony. Okay, let's do this. Oh, it's not that bad. Look how beautiful it is. Good morning. It is 7.15, something like that. It's a beautiful morning. Sunrise is coming. Hello, good morning. Yes, I'm in my towel. All right, I'm gonna go inside because I'm busy. Okay, so I'm gonna be doing my makeup with you and let me fix my towel because I don't want to flush you. <laughs> yeah, all right, all secure? All secure. They don't have rubs here. I think that I need to ask for them or something like that. I know, so like this. And I'm gonna use my camera as a mirror. So I'm looking here instead of there. I think that that's okay. All right, so first things first, I'm gonna apply my moisturizer and I'm using this one by The Ordinary. I think this one is absolutely incredible. My skin is loving this lotion. Is that a lotion? It's a moisturizing uh, formula. All right. And here in Manhattan is so dry, constantly moisturizing myself with this one and I have a body lotion as well because I just feel dry. Yeah, okay. I forgot my eye cream. So then I'm gonna apply a little bit of this. Really careful out of my eyes. As you know, if you follow me for a while, you know that I got eyelid surgery, my upper eyelid I uh, remove it because I had hooded eyes and thanks to that surgery I love it I love the result but I have this darkness around my eye on top of that I am using Latisse but even before Latisse I already had this discoloration around my eyes so I need to cover them up I don't apply a lot of makeup especially right now when I'm traveling I just apply use the basic because i travel with just the basic i'm going to be using this one this is a really good option uh, for the armani luminance foundation this Revlon cost me like eight dollars at walmart and it's a really good dupe of the armani luminous foundation I really like the consistency, it's very close to the Armani one. I love the Armani, but it is quite expensive. The bottle is $64. Yeah, and I just apply it with my hands. I think it melts really good. I do this, and voila, automatically fills like that. Oh. Foundation is on. And just move here. Oh, you don't know this, but I have a mess. Mm -hmm. So my beauty blender, I'm just going to apply a little bit of water. And it's a little bit dirty. I apologize for that, but I'm just going to go around my eyes a little bit more because since I don't have concealer, I'm gonna try to hide the darkness of my eyes with the same foundation. Now that I apply my foundation, I'm gonna apply my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And this is the mini version. So cute. <laughs> so I travel with this one and then I'm gonna use my brush. I think these are Eco Tools, something like that. Now, I'm gonna 
gonna fix this. Fix this. I'm gonna go and going to give myself some eyebrows. And I'm using this one by Benefit. It's so tiny, so precise, that, oops, I'm losing my towel. I need to fix my towel. I was telling you that this one is super precise. I don't know if you can see. That is incredible. So I just filled the gaps of my eyebrows, which is here and here, the inner corners. And I just draw lines like this. I just follow the direction of my hair. Well, here I don't have hair. So I need to give myself some eyebrows there. There you go. There is going to be somebody like, they're not even. <laughs> I, oh, I know. All right, now I'm going to contour my face because contour is basic, is basic. I'm going to use the Hula by Benefit. I had the mini version and it's almost gone. I know, all the good stuff ends. And I just use this brush, the same brush that I applied my translucent powder. And the way that I do it is that I, I take this as a reference, my sideburn, and then the end of my mouth. And I just kind of imaginary, I draw a line. And that's how I contour my face. Don't ask me why. Just find out. I just find easy for me. I mean, it's underneath your cheekbone. But for me, I just want to create that symmetry, right? I don't know. Am I crazy? Maybe, but I'm not a makeup expert. I watch Nikki tutorials. I love her so much. But don't take this like, oh, Jocelyn is teaching me how to do my makeup. No, this is just me applying makeup, okay? And I'm just making a video about it. Blend, 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 because I feel blending. I feel blending. And just like that, I look alive. I have this brush, and I think that is genius. This one is flat. It's from Eco Tools. Let me clean it because it's dirty. But um, it's a little bit dangerous because this one is metal. So when you are applying it, let me show you like this. You need to be very careful because if you go like this, you start scratching yourself, and you're like, ow! <laughs> I know, but it's, I like it. I like the idea. Okay, like this, here, like this. So I emphasize this. Yeah. But I need to apply the highlighter before the blush, and that's what I do. I'm using this one from Revlon uh, 201. And just go to town like this, like here, like going like that because I need a lift. Oh my gosh, I didn't contour my nose. I was like, something is weird. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna contour my nose then. Hula by Benefit and this brush by Echo Tools. Okay, way different. Yes. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I just gave myself a nose surgery. I remove it with my fingers. Thank you. 
Look at that nose. Oh my gosh. It's way too much. I need to fix this. It looks like Michael Jackson nose surgery. <laughs> powder so it stays in place a little bit not too much like this. All right. after that I'm gonna go ahead with my blush and this one is the MAC the shade Melia who knows just going to go in the description box below and I just apply between the contour and the highlight. Highlight? Highlighter. Always upwards. Here you go. It's like I was in the sun all day here in New York. Even when we didn't have too many, but that's okay. All right, we better. Now I'm going to go ahead with what should I do with my eyes? Hmm. First of all, I need to curl my eyelashes, and you don't see this, but I'm cleaning my curler. Aha. Okay, since I don't have eyeliner, I'm going to use the same eyebrow pencil from Benefit and I'm going to apply it as a, look at my eyes, I'm going to apply it as a eyeliner, but I'm just going to apply it in my inner, like this, mm -hmm. is it better? Huh, my camera stopped working like you're taking too long goodbye big difference big difference well I see the difference and I'm happy with that I'm going to apply mascara and I have the Gucci one and I am impressed by Gucci guys because Gucci I was like okay it's just a brand blah 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 but you know what they come up with really good stuff really makeup like really makeup, really good makeup. And I am very impressed, very, very impressed. This is their brush. And I believe this one is the black one. Okay, now you can see the results of Latisse. My eyelashes, honestly, are so long in comparison how I had them before. And so crazy, can, can you see this one? It's like, I want to grow there. So crazy. Hmm. Okay. Now this side. I feel that these ones are like book. <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that. Now I'm gonna go with this Chanel that is almost gone because I love it so much. It's so creamy. It is the number 162 and I love it so much. This can replace my world by MAC and that's, that's, that's huge because I am loyal to world by MAC. But this one, this one is amazing. Okay, I fixed my camera because my battery died. I fixed my camera. I changed the battery on my camera. Alright, I'm gonna sharp this. I was telling you that I like to overline my lips because I have no lips at all. And this lip liner is so creamy that it's so easy to do that. And I'm not naked. I have to start one.
ladies and gentlemen, these are today's lips. Just gonna fill. Okay, and then I'm gonna apply my lipstick, the Revlon, no, Maybelline. The color stay. I think that I have in my bag. Okay, I'll be right back. This thing that I swear by this one is so incredible and yes, it does super stay. And I need all the super stay <laughs> today. this and like this so I went like with my eyes but my lips I'm gonna be all crazy with my lips and that's all what I'm going to be using as a makeup that's a lot yeah you can see here but I'm okay with that probably I will leave this one here I don't know yet this is what I'm gonna be wearing today I bought this one at Macy's at Ralph Lauren. Is Paula Ralph Lauren? Yes, Paula Ralph Lauren. I'm looking at the at the tag. It is Paula Ralph Lauren. It was a little bit pricey, but it's really cute. And it has this little bear wearing this Christmas sweater, and I think it's perfect for this season. I'm wearing these trousers. The yes, these ones are the ones from Express that. You know that I'm obsessed with them and they are flare and I'm wearing two boots right now. I'm wearing my over the knee boots here on my left foot and I'm wearing my Balenciaga boots on my right foot. I'm thinking since I'm going to be doing a lot of walking, if I need to shoes, I think that I'm going to wear the Stuart Wisman over the knee boots because that will keep me warm which is very important because it's freezing here. And I think they are more comfortable than the Balenciaga ones. I really love how the Balenciaga ones look because the pointy toe, <laughs> you cannot beat a pointy toe. I am obsessed with pointy toes. But thinking that I'm here in Manhattan, that I'm going to be doing a lot of walking and it's freezing. Okay, decision is made. I'm going to be wearing the over the knee boots. Okay, and then I'm going to be wearing my coat, my beloved coat that is from H&M. I'm gonna show you the final look and let's do that. I am starving, I'm thirsty. I want something to eat and like a coworker told me when we were doing some stuff <laughs> in my engineer job, you eat when you can because when you're working, you never know when you're going to be able to eat. And now I feel that I can't eat right now. Otherwise, I'm just going to be on my on my moto and there is nothing that can stop me. And sometimes I forget to eat. So let's grab something and start our day. I've been thinking about the good times. I've been sleeping through the long nights I've been shining in the sunlight I've been thinking how I'm alright There's a reason for my feelings There's a reason why I'm healing I feel that is a little bit colder than yesterday <laughs> Yeah, so I made the right decision to wear my over the knee boots We're gonna go to a little cafe I don't drink coffee but they have hot chocolate and to be honest with you, I don't know if I want hot chocolate. I think that I am craving like a juice or fruit. So let's see what they have. I'm getting very familiar with the area already. Yesterday we took some pictures around here and that helped me to you know locate all the stuff kind of. But look at this, they have super pretty buildings here. So in LA, I need to look for the buildings that look like this. Here, they're everywhere. That's awesome. All right, I'm back and I ate and I am ready to go to Sara here in New York. And that's what we're doing right now. 
right now. I need to record this vast empire state building. It's huge, of course. And Sarah is right there. Okay, we're here. Sarah, 36th Street, Manhattan, New York. We made it. Sarah. In fact, it looks like designer food. Oh, they have the bling bling stuff for New Year's. This is very, very bling bling. <laughs> this is cute. Too short. Moist well, shorts. With a big ball here. It's cute, but short. This is cute also. Oh, look at the skirt. Bling bling. This is a blazer with this holder pads. Very Michael Jackson vibes here. Look at the shoes, they're so good. They're so beautiful. I have seen this. I've seen it. This is a blazer and very nice. Definitely, this store looks more high end than all the styles that I have been into. Everything is organized and clean. So beautiful. I have not seen this place, sir. It's really, really elegant and cute. Look at the details. All right, let's take a look on the price. Custom Mesa looks like this. This looks very high end. Oh, look at this. Let's check this uh, dress. This one is a mini dress, $69.90. I have not seen these coats. try it I have this blazer that is uh, kind of like a wool I don't know if it's wool but it feels itchy to the touch but it looks really nice I really like this detail here with the leather honestly I don't know if it's leather <laughs> either I'm going to find out uh, but the design is very rough Lauren vibes for sure this one goes for 129 and one thing that I am I am observing uh, in this Sarah is that everything is so high and well at least the clothing looks very designer very high end this is a blazer dress as you can see it's really cute they just brought them it has this I believe it's a blue blink thing here is protecting the hardware I don't want to remove it this one has this beautiful hoonstone design it has some shoulder pads yes it has a shoulder pads it has a zipper on one side and I chose the size small because I have wide hips so I don't know if if I'm going to fit here 
Okay, so the price of these ones are $69.90. But I mean, this is perfect for New Year's, right? This is perfect. Okay, so I have the dress there, the blazer here. I have this dress that is sheer, as you can see, it's very sheer, but it's really cute. It has ruffles here at the bottom of the skirt elastic here to accentuate your waist and it has a little bit of a puffy going on here at the sleeve and it has this bishop neckline okay it's a pullover and it has a closure here two bottoms as a closure this one goes for 49.90 and this one is size small and of course i need to try on this super sheer of course but it's it's I don't know it looks really elegant very simple but the colors are I, I don't know they're very elegant I like the bottoms details here they're a silver color very sheer you need to wear something underneath and then I have these trousers on this beautiful olive color these ones look very promising I like these ones to go to the office these ones are size extra small and the price is $49.90 and then I saw this satin skirt that I think is gorgeous my camera is so confused because the light is there here you go this one that I'm going to try on is size small and the price is $49.90 I think this is going to look really cute with my with my bear with my bear um, sweater that I bought and yes I changed my shoes I have my sneakers because I have been walking I have my over the knee boots here inside of my my purse meanwhile I'm at the street I'm walking with my sneakers and possibly I'm gonna change them right now I don't know yet <laughs> we'll figure it out all right let's try this clothes on okay so here is the skirt if it's a little bit big yes this one is size small and look at this it has some room for pizza burger and tacos and everything I'm not wearing shapewear so probably even when I wear the shapewear this is going to fit even bigger yeah but it looks really nice with my sweater that's the idea I changed my shoes the over the knee boots so you have an idea I like this outfit honestly yes I really like it. I'm choosing to buy a sleep dress so I can wear it as a sleep dress and I can wear it as a, you know, with the skirt with sweaters like this one. Oh, that's with this sweater. So cute. Okay, I think my size is size extra small on this skirt. It's beautiful. $49.90. It doesn't have any lining. Okay, doesn't have any lining my measurements as always is going to be included in the description box below so you have that as a reference i, I am 57 for your reference and this is how the skirt hits me okay so here are the pants they look incredible but i keep looking for the pockets yeah the color is so nice it's a really dark olive color and it has these mock seams they're not real it's just a line here yeah and it has these loop belts which is very convenient because you can wear this with a belt it fits really well as you can see they're a little bit long i'm five seven for your reference i'm not wearing any shade wear you need to be careful with the underwear that you wear because there is a risk well you're gonna be showing the seams of your underwear this one is size extra small and it fits really nice and it looks incredible but with my teddy bear sweater okay so here is the top incredible incredible it's a piece of polyester that looks really incredible <laughs> with the trousers from Azara yes I think this a uh, combo the colors with the olive color and the ivory and it has a little bit of gold and going on there it's just yeah gorgeous 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 
um, I didn't know what to do with this so I just did above one side so it's just you know facing the bottoms here at the shoulders and yes it is very sheer however you know what I'm not wearing anything underneath I don't recommend that you wear it just like that you need to wear a tank top or something underneath right um, but yeah this is how it looks gorgeous I need to mention this but you cannot remove the strap that it has here around the neck you cannot look at this it's sewing okay correct too short but gorgeous <laughs> yes too short you can see <laughs> but it's gorgeous this one is size small and it has this elastic here that is more like imperial waist uh, it doesn't hit me on my waist it's more like here my waist is here maybe because it's a short dress who knows it looks really good with the over the knee boots yeah but it's too short for me i'm five seven for your reference it's it's really cute and elegant i think it's perfect for new year's or the upcoming holidays yeah i just don't feel comfortable because it's it's too short <laughs> By the way, I didn't mention that this dress looks very sheer, but I think it did its job, right? This one has a lining, but it's very thin lining. It has lining here at the bottom. Oh, it's fully, fully lined. Okay, so it has lining, but it seems, it seems sheer to me. But I didn't complain when I was trying it on, so I think, I think it did its job. Okay, I fall to that. With this dress like honestly this one is size small and it barely fits on my hips it's super super tight and i have the feeling that if i size up it's going to be even way looser here at the top it's going to fit my hips but it's going to be more loose here at the top but you can see it right it's loose here at the top it has this shoulder pads it's really cute to be honest with you and it has this sparkle type of situation here it's really really nice but yes yeah, very loose here at the top very very tight here at the bottom i couldn't i couldn't zip it up i think this one is defective and i didn't want to push it yeah it's really cute but not for white hips uh, women like me And here is the blazer. This is wool and polyester. And it's itchy. Yes, it's itchy here. I can feel it. It's pretty nice. Very rough Lauren vibes here, but itchy. And the price is not that great. It's $129 for an itchy blazer. Looks nice. It's cute. This one is size extra small. And it fits me a little bit, a little bit big. Okay, that was all. Oh, that was Sarah Manhattan, guys. I had a lot of fun here, a lot. <laughs> Definitely, this store looks like designer. Yes. All right, guys. I'm just going to leave this vlog here, vlog shop mess, whatever I'm naming it. Thank you so much for watching. And if you have more time, please click it here or here. And even better, I'll see you tomorrow with another shop mask slash